Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with special co-host from the second grade, Emerson. Good morning, Emerson. Good morning. And thank you for joining us, Emerson. We're so glad you're with us. Are you ready to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Let me get a flag for you. Mm -hmm. As soon as you see the flag, you can start us. Pledge allegiance to the flag and And to the Republic. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and Thank you so much, Emerson. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. It's September 25th. Uh, we're going to have some cool temperatures uh, today, upper 80s, but the heat is coming for next week. Now, let me, I want to talk to everybody real quick because you just saw a flag. Let me put that flag uh, back up on the screen. Uh, this is a flag. Uh, oh, no, you just saw, oh, uh, I think I did the wrong one. You just saw a flag from Josie. We're starting a brand new contest. Anybody that wants to submit a flag that we can use on the morning announcements, uh, you can do that starting today. So let me uh, show you where to go. You're gonna go to our website right there on the cover. It says flag art contest. And when you click on that button, it takes you to this page and students, parents, any community members can submit a flag for the next two weeks until October 16th. And so all types of creative flags are welcome. We're gonna be selecting those flags to use them on the morning announcements. We're gonna be selecting some of the artists that submit to come on and talk to us about their flags. And uh, we're really excited. So that starts today, you go to the website. Anybody can submit uh, for the art flag contest. Uh, also today we have student council elections for third, fourth and fifth grade. You've seen all the speeches. Uh, good luck to all the candidates. Remember, uh, if you don't win in this election, there's always another opportunity uh, next year uh, for you to try it. If you're a fifth grader, middle school also holds student council elections. And uh, we want everybody uh, to realize that you are all uh, excellent candidates and we'll be fortunate to have any of you to serve as our officers. Today, we're joined by Emerson from the second grade. Emerson, who's your teacher? Mrs. Wimmer. Mrs. Wimmer, oh my gosh. And so uh, we're so happy that you're joining us. I've been asking the kids some questions this week. Uh, I, what Some questions that we have uh, about your school day. So Emerson, what we want to know from you is, what activities do you do during your school breaks? Someone works in a class, maybe but Oh my goodness, uh, that must be so much fun to take a break from school and play with your baby brother. That's a great way to spend your break. Boys and girls, if you have a baby brother or baby sister in your house, uh, you can uh, follow Emerson's lead and spend some time with them. Uh, Emerson, uh, I've been asking all the second graders for three words that describe themselves. Do you have three words that describe you? Yeah. Let's hear them. To learn discipline, I creative and kind. Well, those are excellent words to describe yourself, Emerson. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to know who you are and uh, to be creative and kind and those other things. Those are awesome. Uh, we've also been asking the second graders, Emerson, to do some show and tell. We've had dogs, we've had some jewelry, we had some artwork. Uh, you sent me this. Tell everybody about this uh, family heirloom for your family. Teacups from my great grandma. These are teacups from your great grandma and look at how beautiful they are. Uh, have you ever had tea in those cups, Emerson? Have you ever drank out of them? No. no, probably not. I can't imagine you would. Uh, but I tell you what, it would be wonderful. They are so gorgeous and so beautiful. And I'm sure that they're very dear to your family. Thank you for sharing those uh, with us today. Uh, we also want to remind everybody 
uh, that we've been highlighting different families for our Unity Family Fair stories. We, we saw a family last week. We have a new family today, and I have a quick video to play for our Unity Fair family stories. Let's see if I can pull that up. It's about one minute, and here it goes. from my great-grandmother, Grace Teresa Ward. My mom and dad decided the name Ward. The name Wooden comes from my grandma and grandpa. My mom and dad both like the middle name Devin. <laughs> Something that I discovered about my name is Ward also came come from a part of Ireland called Donegal. Learning about my name is me makes me feel excited because because word is an awesome name and that's it all right so we highlighted another family for our unity fair virtual unity fair that's going on all year uh we're going to be highlighting different families uh, throughout the year and that was ward talking about his family name really interesting stuff there uh Emerson, are you ready to do the words of wisdom with me? You ready? Let me get my notes up yes. here. All right. And boys and girls, now for the words of wisdom. Most of us have times when we feel sorry for ourselves, when we think everyone else has it better than we do. Now listen to this Arabian proverb. I no, I was poor because I had no shoes. Until I met a man, I had no feet. That's right. I thought I was poor because I had no shoes until I met a man who had no feet. Boys and girls, it's okay to feel bad when times are tough. If you're having a hard time dealing with a problem, talk to a trusted adult. Just try not to feel sorry for yourself for too long. A good way to start feeling better is to do something for someone else fortunate le or someone else less fortunate than you. Volunteer to call a sick classmate or a relative. You could clean out your closet and ask your parents to help you donate clothes that you don't wear anymore to someone who needs them. Ask your parents to help you do something for an elderly neighbor or someone in your family. Just get busy doing something for someone else and you'll be surprised at how much better you feel yourself. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And I'm listening. Make it a great day. I'm not. The choice the, is yours. The choice is definitely theirs, Emerson. Uh, Emerson, do you have any shout outs that you want to do this morning? I'm impressed. <laughs> Okay, very good. Listen, I want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for getting up this morning. We hope you have a wonderful day of school. To everybody running in the student council elections, best of luck to you. Remember, whatever happens in the election, you want to represent yourself in a positive way. Uh, congratulate those that do win if you don't happen to win. And if you do win, make sure that you're gracious to everybody that ran against you in the election. Everybody, no school on Monday. It is Yom Kippur on Monday, no school on Monday. We have a three-day weekend, Emerson. We'll see everybody back for the morning announcements on Tuesday morning. Have a great day, Emerson. Bye. <laughs>